All right, so in this video, I decided to collect my five favorite essential cool programs that I thought you guys would like and you might not have heard of before. So these are specifically for Windows, but you could probably get some alternatives for Mac as well. So the first one is called Flux. Now this program basically dims your screen when the sun goes down. You might wonder why you might want to do this. Well, the thing is monitors actually emit a lot of blue light and studies show that blue light actually is what keeps you up at night. So that's why TVs and monitors and all these things make it hard to sleep. It's because they're emitting so much light, which is the same color as daylight, so your brain thinks that it's daytime. However, Flux basically dims the screen and basically puts a orange filter over it so that you don't get any of that blue light and it's a lot easier on your eyes. And you don't even notice. It's, it's a really subtle change and you won't notice that it's changed unless you turn it off and then you just pretty much get blind. It's like, oh my gosh, how was I using this before without it? So it's a really cool program. You should check it out. And like all these, I'll put the link in the description. Next up, we have Rain Meter. This is kind of like a widget type program. It's for your desktop and it lets you install all sorts of different widgets and gadgets, kind of like the Windows gadget feature, except better. Now you can download all these custom made ones that people have made, whether it's a weather or CPU and resource monitor widget, and they pretty much just sit on the desktop and it can be a clock, anything like that. It's just cool little accessories to kind of pimp out your desktop and make it look cooler. And you can pretty much have these do whatever you want. There's tons of different websites that have pre-made widgets that you can use. After that, we have a program called Push. Now, if you've ever wanted to take a screenshot of the screen and instantly send it to your friends, or any file for that matter, this is the program to do it. Now, what this basically does is you click on the little thing in the, the context menu and say capture area or whatever, you highlight a section of the screen and it automatically screenshots that area and generates a link and copies it to the clipboard so you can just send the link instantly to your friends and show them what you're talking about, for example. You're like, oh, look what my computer's doing. Look at this error message. All you have to do is drag and drop. It takes a screenshot, copies the link, so you can send it instantly to your friends. You can also right-click files if it's not too big, like video files even, or MP3s. You just right-click, set send to push. It'll copy the link. You can send it to your friends. It's a really, really convenient program. It's lightweight. I think you do have to make an account, but it's totally free. That's just so you can like look at the history of things you've uploaded in the past. I use it literally every day, and I definitely think it's something worth checking out if you send a lot of images to your friends and stuff like that. All right, so next we have a program called Universal Media Server. Now what this lets you do is basically stream files from your computer onto other devices in your house. So what I like to do is watch videos on my TV, which is hooked up to my Xbox and sit on the couch, but the files are all on the computer. So how do you do that? Well, instead of like copying the file onto the thumb drive and carrying it in the other room, you just have Universal Media Server running and you go onto the Xbox and it has access to all the files that you pick and then you can literally just scroll through on the Xbox and pick the file and play it and it streams it, converts it, all that stuff. It, it's universal, that's why it's called that. So it doesn't have to work just on Xbox, but also, you know, PlayStation, Xbox One, PS4, anything that basically can stream video, you can use with this program. I use it all the time. It's really great for when you want to watch a movie and you don't want to have to sit in your computer chair uncomfortably for an hour. So definitely check this out. It's a cool free program. All right, now number five is for when you see your hard drive space filling up and you don't know why. This program is called Windier Stat. Basically what it does is it visually shows you where all the space is going in your hard drive. So what you do is you open it up and it shows you basically blocks. And the bigger the, the box is the bigger the file that's being taken up in the hard drive. So if you see a massive file and it's like a 20 gigabyte file that you didn't even know you had, you're like, oh my gosh, no wonder all my space on my hard drive is being taken up. There's all these files being generated in this area and you didn't even know maybe one of your program was just saving random files. So you can delete all that 
and then it's just a great way to see where the heck did all your hard drive space go. It visually lets you see, it becomes very obvious if there's one program taking up all the space that you didn't know about. I use this every once in a while when I can't figure out why my hard drive space keeps dwindling and usually it's some program that's saving a lot of temporary files that I don't need so I go and clear that out and you can usually go to that program settings and maybe figure out why it's doing that. So definitely useful for people with SSDs especially, which aren't necessarily that big. So that is it. Those are the top five cool free programs for Windows that I like to use. If you have any additional ones, let me know in the comments. I am interested to hear because I'm always looking for cool new programs, believe me. Also like the video and if you want to subscribe, definitely do that. I try to make videos at least once a week. Uh, follow me on Twitter guys if you want. I, my handle is at TheoJoe, just like you know the channel name, basically that. And I like to hear, hear from you guys on Twitter. So that's pretty much it. I will see you next time. Have a good one.